In this video, guys, we're going to look at the difference between spread betting and share trading. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a warm welcome to you. All right, so what's the difference between share trading and spread betting? You probably hit this video because you're wondering what spread betting is all about. What's the difference between it? Maybe you're familiar with share trading. Maybe you're unfamiliar with spread betting. Got a few differences here we're gonna talk through and so you can see the difference between spread betting and share trading. By the way, if you do like this video, then please consider subscribing for more videos from me about spread betting, trading, strategies, psychology, markets, shares, commodities, the lot. We've got loads of stuff on this channel and there's going to be something that you like. Okay, so let's get going. So with share trading, you are literally buying shares in a company, right? Very, very simple. We want to buy BP. We go, we have a £10,000. We buy whatever price BP is. We get a number of shares for it. Simple. Now, with spread betting, we don't actually own the underlying. All we're actually doing is betting on the direction of that share price. So, an example of BP, we own the underlying asset. If the asset increases in value, either the share price goes up, great, we make money when we sell that asset, we make the difference between the buy price and the sell price. If the price goes down, we lose money. Now, with spread betting, we don't own the asset. All we're doing is betting, speculating on the direction of price. So if we have an up bet in spread betting and BP rises, we're going to make money equivalent to the size of our bet. If it goes down, we're going to lose money. We don't actually own anything, we're just betting on the direction. And of course, we can bet on shares. We can bet also on uh, FTSE 100 indices, commodities, currency pairs, etc. But for this example, let's stick with share trading. So the other great thing that spread betting can do with spread betting easily is you can bet on a fall in price. Again, because we're not owning the underlying asset, we can place a bet that says, hey, well, I think BP shares are gonna fall over the next few months, few weeks, whatever time frame we're looking for, and we can place that bet. If we have to do it in the share trading world, we'd have to borrow the shares and do a short sale. A lot more complicated, a lot more steps involved to it. It's very, very simple, simple ticket pop up, bang, you select your order, select your position size and hit the trade. It goes through instantly and you're in to the trade. By the way, if you haven't got a spread betting company, you want to check one out, we have one that you may consider looking at in the description below. The link to that is in the description below. Go and check it out, open a demo account and we'll play around. All right, so the next thing is no stamp duty. Of course, UK, you're buying shares, you're gonna pay stamp duty. No stamp duty with spread betting because you are just a betting on the underlying index. You're betting on a direction of something, so there's no stamp duty to pay, which is good. Uh, there's no capital gains tax on profits as well, that's why spread betting is super popular. So if you made money on your BP purchase, went up and you made, say, 5,000 pounds, you're gonna have to pay capital gains on that, or it's liable to capital gains with allowance and stuff of course but it's liable to capital gains you make five thousand pounds spread betting it's no capital gains tax to pay because it's considered by the government as a bet just like if you were to win five thousand pounds betting on horses football rugby uh on a casino same it's the same kind of thing okay so there's no commission to pay so the way that a spread bet is structured is that the commission if you like is wrapped up within the spread so the spread is a difference between the buy price and the sell price so that little spread and by the way it's very very tight for uh, most things for shares it's kind of the underlying market spread plus a little bit. So there's no commission to pay. You don't pay a commission normally if you were buying uh, shares through your bank or your traditional stock broker. You'd pay the market spread because there's always gonna be a spread in the market on the London Stock Exchange, for example. Plus you'd pay a commission as well to buy and to sell those shares. However, with spread betting, that doesn't apply. There's no commission. It's just wrapped into the spread. So the spread is a little bit wider. So there's no commission to pay uh, in that respect. Mark to market P and L. What do I mean of mark to market P and L? So of course, if you've got a share account, you've got a portfolio, you can see the value of your portfolio, you can see the individual trades, how much they're up, how much they're down, etc. But the key difference between that and spread betting is you can see the profit you've got on that trade and you can see the loss you've got on that trade, but those profits are automatically added and the losses are automatically removed from your capital. So if you have a 5,000 pounds account and your trades are up 500 pounds, your account valuation is now 5,500 pounds. And you can use that money to place future trades with, to use as leverage as margin, to place trades without margin in a second, but you can use that money. 
You can withdraw that money if you want, technically. And of course, if the price goes back and goes back to break even, you're still going to be down 500 pounds. So it's not something you want to potentially do. But let's say, but let's say you, the trade was going in your way. Let's say it was going uh, very nicely. You had it for a couple of months, and it is halfway to your target, and you're up a couple of thousand on it. You could quite easily withdraw that money if you wanted to, and then look for the further move to take the other 2,000 or whatever it may be. But of course, it works in both ways as well. If the market goes down, it's going to take that from your account immediately unlike a share purchase where you've just still got the asset and the actual difference in money you've made or lost isn't realized or crystallized really until you've sold that asset and that's realized that loss or it's realized that gain so that's a, that's a key difference there uh, you've got overnight and financing fees so when you're trading, let's put these both into one actually, when you're buying a spread bet, you're effectively trading on margins. You're gonna put, put up a very small percentage of the underlying notional value. So let's say you were buying a share at uh, 200 pence, you were buying 10,000 shares of that, that's obviously gonna be 20,000 pounds if you're buying the share uh, with a traditional stockbroker, right? Because it's 10,000 shares times two quid, 20,000 pounds. You have to buy that, spend 20,000 pounds. Now, if you're spread betting, you can trade on what's called margin, and there'll be a percentage margin depending on the share type and the instrument you're trading. But let's say it's 10% for this example, that would mean you only have to put up 10% to control that trade. So you'd have to put up 2,000 pounds to control 20,000 pounds worth of notional value. Like I say, if you want to find out more, guys, then have a look at all the videos we've got on the channel, subscribe to the channel, uh, and have a little dig around and see, because we're going into lots more detail and complex, uh, kind of deep dive into each one of these uh, ideas and, and how to spread bet and all this kind of stuff. So make sure you do that if this is interesting to you. So that's really, really useful and something that you don't get Obviously, when you're trading shares, you're going to trade a margin. However, that does mean that you get overnight fees. So, as the overnight or as you trade and the, the market and the market closes and opens the next day, closes and opens the next day, etc., you have a small financing charge to be able to trade on margin. Depends on what you're holding. Depends. It is different depending on uh, whether you're trading shares, or you're trading currency, etc. But for example, if you're trading shares, you have a small financing charge, which is an annual charge, normally based off LIBOR uh, plus the kind of uh, commission if you like from the broker and then it's divided by 365 so you get like a an overnight fee the bigger position the bigger the fee uh, the longer you hold it obviously the bigger the fee so it's generally not something for a longer term investor you know if your share if you're investing in shares spread betting is probably not the right vehicle for you however if you have a portfolio and you want to take some short term uh, you've got some short-term ideas you want to express in a better way than perhaps buying shares, then spread betting might be something for you to consider. Obviously, understanding the risks, if you're losing leverage, etc., cetera, margin, uh, it's a lot more high risk potentially. If you understand all the risks and, and the stuff that goes with that, then it can be a useful tool to combine with a share portfolio to kind of be a little bit more aggressive on, on, on your opinion. So you've got a short-term view on a stock, you've got a short-term view on a share, and you want to kind of express that view without kind of closing any of your portfolio and buying and trying to deal in and out of the shares. And you can use a spread bet for that. It says a couple of months, a couple of weeks, even a couple of days. Spread betting's perfect for that kind of stuff. And of course, as well, if you wanted to express a view to the downside, then you can do that too. You know, you can uh, profit from a fall in price. So you can also do that from a speculation perspective, but maybe from a hedging perspective as well. If you wanted to hedge something, you wanted to short a couple of stocks, perhaps in the same sector, uh, you could do that as well. So there's lots of options with spread betting. Uh, have a check out, as I say, there's a link to that in the description below. Uh, to our preferred broker, check them out, open a demo account, play around, and also you know, have a look around the site, have a look around the channel, and see if there's anything else that catches your eye. And if so, then consider subscribing for more from me and others. Take care, keep the risk managed, whatever you're trading. Bye-bye.